what's the longest you've ever had to walk in one day? All right, for me, I had to put in 20, it was a little bit over 20 miles, but I didn't have to. I actually signed up for it. It was a hike to go up a, a special, I guess you could call it a mountain in Yosemite called the Half Dome that I wanted to do. I was by myself because obviously my family probably would not sign up for something like that. So I'm, I'm halfway walking up and it's meant to be kind of like a secluded cool hike. And a guy started walking beside me and wanted to do a walk and talk. I didn't want to do a walk and talk, but actually turned it out turned out to be good for me because at the very top of the mountain, you have to clip in the cables to be able to go up to the very top and, and kind of almost like, remember the old school Batman, we had to kind of climb up with the side. So I had to do that and it was amazing. It was incredible. And we're walking down and this guy, his name was Rob, incredible. He's a really nice guy. He started to give me some cool fatherly advice, which I loved in the moment, especially because like my dad had, has not been involved in my life since really middle school. He passed when I was in my 20s. So figuring out how to be a husband, how to be a dad, how to be a grown man has not been the most fun journey because there's not someone that I could just ask questions with the way that I wished I could. And so there was a moment he's saying something and I felt something kind of drop in my heart. I think it was the Lord. Don't let me be too spiritual though, but I really do believe it was God where I... I felt like the Lord say, hey, I would like to be this kind of a father to you. When you're looking for advice, when you're looking for mentorship and for advice, I'm there for you. That's the kind of dad that I want to be. You're not alone. You're not by yourself. And I've, I just kind of stopped for a moment on the hike down and was like, wow, that's something that I really need to process and think about. And there's a verse I've thought about for a long while, ever since I was in, in high school, It's Psalms 27.10, where David said, listen, when my mom and dad weren't there for me, the Lord himself is the one who took me in. Maybe you, your story is similar to mine, where you don't feel like that uh, you had the kind of parental advice that you wish that you could have. Maybe your dad wasn't involved in your life at all. Maybe he was in the house, but was an absentee father. Let me encourage you that our heavenly father Even, well, even the fact that we call him Heavenly Father is because as Jesus was teaching us how to pray, he said, start by calling him dad. Stop by, start by referencing him as a father. And I want to encourage you, no matter what situation you're going through right now, you're not in it by yourself. Whatever the valley is, even if it's some, a crazy mountaintop of, of a 20 mile hike that you're doing, God is there and not just there. He wants to be intimately involved in every aspect of your life. He wants to guide you, lead you, direct you, and just be a good dad. So however that might look like, it might be by pausing, by listening, by reflecting, maybe even fixing your mindset that that's how God wants to relate to you. And here's a, here's a, a message. We did a sermon not too long ago about how it looks like to pray and how we start with our Heavenly Father. I want you to listen to it, especially if that's something that you feel like you need to grow in. So click this link, to get some more info.